What is up, Hydration Nation? And everybody else that is just checking this out, I guess. Maybe you aren't a part of the Hydration Nation yet. <clears throat> um, but I just wanted to make this video, I guess, to, I guess, kind of just get some stuff off my mind, you know? Because um, as of recent, I haven't really been streaming too much. You might have realized if you watch me over on Twitch. Um, and whenever I do stream, it's usually only for like 30 minutes and then I'll stop stream and then I'll delete the stream afterwards. <clears throat> and uh, a question may come to mind, um, which is, uh, cause if you guys know, I used to stream for like three or four hours at a time and now I only stream for like 30 minutes and it's like, what's up with, uh, what's up with that? Um, and it's, it's actually been, uh, for kind of a weird reason, one might say, <clears throat> Not not too weird as in like uh, I, I like a whole bunch of stuff is getting leaked. Uh, no, weird as in I have uh, recently come to a realization uh, that <clears throat> you know um, basically what I want to say is uh, it, it's the same thing everybody else says, uh, but it's just that schools don't teach us the right things. You know, I, I find it funny how. Um, we get taught um, the, the, the core classes, you know, math, uh, social studies, history, and communication arts. But, I, you know, I find it really funny, um, <clears throat> especially with something about that last one, how in communication arts, we don't actually get taught the basic way of communication um, speaking. We get taught how to read, how to write, how to annotate, how to... Um, fill out essays, um, but what we don't get taught is how to communicate with others in a proper manner, how to um, speak about your things such as your feelings or um, important things such as loss of a family member. We don't get taught how to um, explain what we are thinking. Uh, we get taught to explain what other people want us to think. Um, <clears throat> like uh, the Watergate scandal. Um, I recently had to write an essay on that for, um, so I, I don't remember what, but you know, uh, we, we get taught on that instead of getting taught on how to properly convey how we feel, properly convey how we think, because uh, it's, uh, it's awkward for society. And I, I find it uh, I find it funny how in math class um, we are taught the quadratic formula and how to find the circumference of a circle and the area of a uh, I, I don't know a parabola but we don't get taught um, how to fill out our taxes um, uh, how to get a loan from a bank and the interest that pays off with it and just how to um, have financial stability with your money, how to save it up, um, investing in things. You know, they, they those things have to deal with numbers, so I feel like we would learn that, and I don't know, a math class, maybe. And uh, for science, we're, we're taught about the human body and, um, you know, how it works and everything, and um, the earth and the environment and other animals and everything. Um, but we don't really get taught uh, well enough, I feel like, how our body works, <clears throat> um, how we psychologically work. And I, I think that psychology should be a completely different class than that. And some schools do offer that, but the thing is, it is offered not a standardized class. I think um, one of the best things about America's schooling is how many options we can have for classes that we want to take. Um, now, on the um, opposite spectrum of that, I think uh, the worst part, part about classes, especially in America, is how many options we have. Because um, we have cooking classes, we have um, classes on how to take care of uh, family, we have um, exercise classes, we have weight gaining classes, we have music classes, we have arts classes, we have fine arts classes, we have 
um, different languages, but all of those we have to choose. And I agree that we should be able to choose some classes for what we might want to take in the meantime. Um, like I take guitar, if you guys don't know. I play a bit of guitar and I have for about a year now. Um, but that's because I want to learn to play guitar. I don't need to know how to play guitar to survive in the world unless I am planning on going into music as a career. And I think that's important. You know, if you want to go into it as a career, then take that class. Go, go ahead and do that. But um, things such as taking care of children and even how to cook in some cases, you know, how to um, pay off everything, how your mind works, that shouldn't be an offered class. That should be a class that needs to be taken. Because the thing is, we don't want to take extra time out to do more work but if it's given to us then we will and i know it's one of those things like um you you would think that if you give us more work we won't want to do it but just because we don't want to do it doesn't mean we won't and just because we don't want to take that class doesn't mean we won't pay attention in it you know, it's, I give, I get that it's difficult in these trying times to um, focus on the students' well-beings and their futures instead of focusing on the whole pandemic and getting uh, everything out of that, you know, getting all that stuff sorted out with, but it's not an excuse because the thing is, schooling has been almost the exact same for so long now. And nobody's really speaking about this, I guess, because nothing's changed. You know, we're still, we're, we are still going out into the world not knowing anything, not knowing how to talk about our emotions, not knowing how to pay our taxes, not knowing how to make a financial stable income, not knowing how to do the basic necessities that we need. <clears throat> and it is screwing over the generation after that and so we're just in an endless cycle of it's getting worse because nobody knows what to do because we don't get taught what to do and i i somewhat agree that students should have to maybe not have to but students should take some responsibility and um taking those classes um, but the thing is, we do. Students do take responsibility in taking those classes, and their responsibility is showing up every day. I'm not saying that it, that the teachers should do a better job. I'm saying that the school districts in general should be doing a better job because I, I'm not going to diss on them, okay? Look, schools have a hard enough job already, but if... The whole point of you going to a school is to work there uh, specifically, especially as a principal, vice principal, or um, board of directors. Um, if your only purpose in going there is to make money, you should quit or get fired and find another job. Because uh, wholeheartedly, I believe that if you are on um, the, if you are the principal, the vice principal, or are on the board of directors, uh, you need to have your students' best interests at heart. And a lot of people don't have that. All they care about is what makes their school look good. Like, I know personally, uh, a, my school, or a school that I've went to in the past, has been involved in public drama. And they've also been involved in other drama. Now, other drama doesn't mean it's bad, or other drama doesn't mean it's it's like okay things. It just means that the school never publicly addressed it. The, most schools don't like talking about stuff unless it is specifically brought up to the news. Which is horrible. Anyways, I'm, I'm just going to... Like, TLDR, okay? If you didn't want to listen to any of this and you just skipped to the end of the video, um, I just wanted to say, 
schools, can you please do better on teaching your students and classes and not even teaching your students and classes? That's that's wrong because then it makes it it makes me sound like I don't like the teachers. The teachers are fine, okay? A good chunk of the time they are. I want the the principals and the the school board of directors. You guys need to be doing better because just the standard of education needs to be doing better because with us constantly growing as a society, what we are being taught nowadays doesn't cut it. We are being taught how to go out and work and not have a mind of our own. And it is honestly just insulting um, to every student out there who actually cares about what they're learning and about their future. Just because I want to grow up, and I say that in air quotation marks because I'm already grown up, just because whenever I get a little bit older, um, I want to ha- pursue streaming as a career, which is now an option, doesn't mean that I don't want to be taught how to do everyday work. That's still something I need to know how to do. And I just want to be able to go to a school where I can do that. So can we please just like be better with schools? Because education is important to people a lot more than you think it is. Thanks for watching, guys.